The second part of the series of lectures on electricity is on resistance. The resistance of a component is a measure of the opposition and electric current experiences when it flows through the component. The resistance R of the component is the ratio of the potential difference V across it to the current I flowing through it. If we could add an ammeter in the circuit and a voltmeter in the circuit, we could get some values of the current and potential difference across the bulb. Then, we would be able to find the resistance of the bulb. For example, if the potential difference across the bulb is 6 volts and the current through it is 2 amperes, then the resistance of the bulb is equal to potential difference V over I, which is equal to 6 volts divided by 2 amperes, that will give us 3 ohms. The diagram on the left shows resistors connected in series. Let us name the resistance as R1 and R2. The effective resistance of resistors connected in series is the sum of R1 plus R2. If we look at the right, we see two resistors connected in parallel. Let us name the resistors as R3 and R4. For resistors connected in parallel, the effective resistance is given by the formula 1 over Re is equal to 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4. Let us try this example of three resistors, 6 ohms each, connected in series. Do you get the effective resistance of 18 ohms? How about this example, where the 6 ohms resistors are rearranged to be connected in parallel? Could you find the effective resistance of these resistors connected in parallel? What is your answer? You should be able to use the equation given to obtain an effective resistance of 2 ohms for this configuration. You would have noticed that for resistors connected in series, the more number of resistors with equal resistance in the circuit, the higher the effective resistance. Whereas for resistors connected in parallel, the more resistors with equal resistance in the circuit, the lower the effective resistance of the circuit. The resistance of electric component is dependent on the material properties and physical dimensions of the component. This resistance is measured in ohms. R is equal to rho L over A, where rho stands for the resistivity of the material. L stands for the length. And A stands for the cross-sectional area. Different materials have got different resistivities, with aluminium and copper having the lowest resistivity and tungsten and silver having one of the higher resistivities. Typically, we treat wires as perfect conductors with zero resistance. Ohm's law states that the current passing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across it. This means that I is directly proportional to V. If I were to draw a graph of I versus V, it should look like a straight line graph passing through the origin.